guest author this morning, Dee Retlaidi, is a professor of international law at the University of Pretoria and a member of the UN International Law Commission and author of his latest novel titled Sins of the Father. In this second offering, we follow uh, Dolamo Mwaki as he is freed from demons of alcoholism and promiscuity that haunted him when uh, the readers first encountered him in the first book uh, titled Blood in the Sand of Justice. Well, he now teams up with uh, Nyeleti Pistorius, a captain in the Directorate of Crime, Priority Crime and French Intelligence Officer uh, Julie Bourbon in an effort to expose a sinister conspiracy to control the world. Well, the book's author, Dirat Lady, joins us now to tell us more about his latest book. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. I suppose we should start with the first one, you know, Blood in the Sand of Justice. What was that about? So that particular novel was actually about um, the assassination of uh, the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. Mm -hmm. So this character, the main character, Abdullah Mamouachi, who at some point had been the deputy prosecutor, but had left because of all of those allegations of uh, promiscuity, sexual harassment, mm. um, and so on. Now he's recalled to come and investigate the, um, the assassination of the prosecutor. And through that process, he sort of confronts his demons um, and um, yeah, he um, he gets back on the right yeah. track, so to speak. Yeah. So where does uh, Sins of the Father pick up uh, from so where? In, yeah. So in Sins of the Father, Dola Mumwahi has now found himself. Mm -hmm. He's now living a stable life, quiet life, um, um, as a professor, a law professor. Yeah. Um, and um, um, and he receives a message that there has been an explosion um, during a diplomatic conference, a diplomatic meeting in Lubumbashi uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Um, and, and he gets involved in the investigation. So Tola Mumwaki had a, a relationship, a professional relationship with uh, the National Director of Public Prosecutions. Um, and so the National Director of Public Prosecutions, knowing that Tola Mumwaki is a skilled investigator, mm. asks him to assist in the investigation to sort of try to find um, the culprits behind um, the, um, the bomb explosion in Lubumbashi. Yeah. What's the significance of the title of the book? So... It explores a lot um, as one of the themes, relationships between um, uh, fathers and their sons. Mm. Um, in the first book, um, Dalamo had a difficult relationship with uh, his own children, largely because of his own conduct. Yeah. Um, in this one, he has restored that relationship. But now um, at the center of the novel, and I don't want to give away too much, mm. um, so, but at the center of the novel is the action of one man who also had a very complicated relationship with his very famous father, and I'm not going to say who that famous yeah. father is, but yes. Let's dissect this character, Tolamo yeah. Muach, and how his journey unravels in the sequel. Yeah. So in the sequel, as I say, it's not so much, um, he himself has found himself. Yeah. He's, um, now we get to see Tolamo in his uh, full glory. In the first novel, we sort of see him um, uh, confronting all of his demons. Now he's confronted his demons. In this novel, really what we see is we see him on his A game. He mm -hmm. has found himself, he is quote unquote the man, um, and he's really, so we really get to see sort of his, his investigative skills, um, 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 his personal skills, um, and his, his proper character being um, really put on the show. Yeah, and the other characters, the main characters in the book, let's unpack them and, you know, in the development, in the development of the plot to the book. Yeah, so, Nyele <clears> Tipi <throat> Storius um, is, um, in almost a, a similar kind of situation um, as Tulamu in the first novel, except that um, her own problems aren't of her own doing. So yeah. she's having um, the personal difficulties at home, um, but she's also a very skilled investigator and mm. she's a very tough, tough woman, um, what they would call in the novel, uh, uh, in the movies, a tough cookie. Yeah. Um, um, so she teams up with Tulamu. Um, really to sort of try to find out uh, who's responsible behind this. She's at the beginning not very comfortable with the idea of working with a civilian, somebody mm. who's not part of yes. um, um, the state infrastructure, but eventually they develop a very close partnership and relationship in sort of uncovering who is behind all of this. Yeah. Now, you know, there are beautiful places in here, uh, Khartoum, Berlin, you know, Vienna. They yeah. Talk to us about how you managed to capture all these beautiful places in the book. Yeah, so, so what I, I mean, every place that I've been to, every restaurant that is described, nearly every hotel, not quite every hotel, 
um, are places that I've um, that I have personally visited. Um, so, so I try to capture this so the spirit. Um, anyone who's been to any of those places, when they, they they read the description, my hope is that they will feel yes, I know this place. This place seems familiar. Um, so yes, it is a, um, 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 a travel book, if you like. Yeah. And then, are we likely to see the journey of Tolamo Mwahi continue in another book? I think so. Yeah. I am already having some ideas, uh, and I'm hoping that when I have a little bit of time, I can sit down and, and, and write something yeah. of a final. Before we even conclude this conversation, the themes that you explore in this alcoholism, promiscuity, what other themes do you explore in there? Yeah, so in this novel, actually, um, there are many themes that are explored. So corruption is explored, our own situation mm. of um, energy security is explored, um, the relationships between the African National Congress as a political party, as a government that's explored. Obviously, terrorism is explored, uh, democracy is explored, the difficulties in Eswatini are explored, um, um, election rigging. So there are all manner of, 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 um, of themes that are explored, but that are brought together in a way that sort of creates one cohesive coherent story. All right. Professor Tladi, uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank, uh, thank you. you for thank talking you to us. For uh, that's our Sunday morning guest author, Tladi Dire, and we've been talking about his latest book and its titled Sins of the Father.